what's happening it's Saz here so in today's video I thought I'd do a little bit of an update with you guys just to see what's been going on so firstly in my last update video I was mentioning about Dougie Pug my little pug called Doug I know awesome name right <laughs> um yeah we found a little lump on his left thigh uh got the phone call turns out it was a Marcel tumor so he had to have an operation to get that out of there because they're not nice at all. Then I decided to do like a histology report. Um, I think they call it Chi-67 test. I'd never heard of it before, but apparently it can determine Doug's future. Like will he get more in the future and, and stuff like that. Um, it was a grade two tumour. So not the best, but not the worst. So it's kind of in the middle, so they don't really know which way it's going to go kind of thing. Great. <laughs> but the vets were amazing and she managed to get a good area around the actual spot. And around it came back clear. So he's all good. He's clear now and he's just been signed off. Just to make sure it hadn't spread to any of his organs, uh, I decided to go ahead with an ultrasound. Um, so bless. <laughs> I'll, I'll put some pictures as I'm talking. Um, so yeah, he's got a shaved, little shaved belly, <laughs> bless him, um, but the hair's growing back now, so he's all good, and nothing had spread, thank God, oh my God, I was sitting here waiting for the call, and I was just like, come on, please, 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 <laughs> but it is what it is, and he went through the operation fine, the ultrasound, he didn't have to be put under for that, he managed to stay still, <laughs> How, I don't know, but maybe he thought he was just getting belly rubs and he likes belly rubs, so probably that's why he stays still. <laughs> but he's all good in the hood now. He's, been, as I said, been signed off. Uh, still on doggy weight watchers, <laughs> as I call it. And he's going down, losing weight again. Um, so that's good. So Doug is all good now. Next thing, a bit of Walking Dead to stuff, because you know I love to talk about my Walking Dead. <laughs> That trailer though, woo! <laughs> the season nine trailer came out and obviously my reaction is up on this channel. Woo! I cannot wait for October. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the trailer. After seeing it again, because I had to watch it more than once, everyone was saying, listen to the end, listen to the end. Um, spoiler alert now, if you don't want to know anything about Walking Dead. Uh, it looks like we're going to get the Whisperers. I cannot wait. I, I love the comics as well, so I read the comics. Um, and it looks like we're getting the Whisperers. So, for those who don't know, and you want to know, the Whisperers are a group of people that use walker skin to disguise themselves. And, funny enough, they whisper. <laughs> um, how they're going to do that in the TV show, because the walkers in the TV show are pretty, pretty grim. So how they're going to do that, I don't know. Um, and why aren't they getting sick? Because if they're putting walker stuff over them, sometimes we've seen it work, sometimes we've seen it not work, and people get sick from it. So uh, I never really cleared that up. Because you saw in the very beginning of The Walking Dead, you know, Glenn and Rick put on their jackets and cover it with walker guts and everything. And they were fine. And yet someone like Father Gabriel who seem to have got sick. <laughs> so I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you know any more about that. Educate me. I need to know because <laughs> it's a bit confusing. But anyway, I digress. The Whisperers, they just seem awesome. And yes, at the end of the trailer, I, after listening to it for a while, and people were saying, have you listened to the end of it? Listen to it. Yes, I can hear them say, where are they? So, uh, and I realised it was Rosita and Eugene, not Daryl. <laughs> at first I thought oh is it Daryl and Rosita but no it's Eugene and Rosita so who knows what's going to happen with that that looks really good cannot wait for that also with the whole Walking Dead thing I've got to admit it I don't want to <laughs> I don't like talking about this but it apparently it was confirmed at San Diego Comic Con this year and he's leaving <laughs> no is it going to be open-ended? Is he just going to take a break for a little bit? Oh, I would not be ready for that. I mean, yes, Rick, Daryl and Negan are my three favourite male characters in the show, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I, 
think of The Walking Dead and I think Rick Grimes, you know, he's he's the one that started it all. Oh my god, I'm I'm just in denial, <laughs> basically. I'm in denial, nope, la 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 la, don't wanna know. <laughs> Until I physically see, oh, I just don't wanna even think about it, really, to be honest. Um, what do you guys think? Are you, are you gonna stop watching? that apparently if Rick goes, will you stop watching or will you carry on? Me personally, I'm still gonna carry on. I love the show from the pilot right up to now. Yes, there have been some stuff like, why did they do that? You know, like the whole Carl business, for instance, why did they do that? But I'm still gonna watch it because I'm still a fan of the show regardless. Um, but let me know what you think. Are you gonna stop watching it or are you gonna carry on? Because in the trailer, you see Rick's boots. I'm pretty sure they're Rick's boots. And he's bleeding. I don't like that. <laughs> What's happening there? And he's just lying there and everyone's running away. Surely someone's going to help him. Please, someone help him. <laughs> so I think maybe that could be part of the whisperers. Um, <sighs> Negan in the cell though. Oh my god. Again, being a, a comic book fan. I'm excited. I obviously hashtag free Negan. <laughs> we need him out of that cell, but I'm really excited to see how season nine is going to go. Also, Fear the Walking Dead's coming back in August. Cannot wait for that. Hopefully I can still do reactions and hopefully they'll be in time this time. <laughs> uh, yes, I may have to use the magic mirror, as I call it, um, but hopefully I can watch it at the same time and carry on my reactions because I really do miss uh, the reactions. I mean, the only reason I started back up watching Fear was because of the crossover. Um, I'm a fan of Morgan anyway, so he was really the one that kind of got me back into it. Um, I really enjoyed the first half of season four. Obviously, there are some choices that I was not happy about. <laughs> um, killing off characters that I don't think was necessary. So God knows what they're going to do in the second half of the season of Fear. <sighs> who knows who knows we just have to wait <laughs> do you guys watch fear let me know down in the comments what you think so yeah what else has been happening um oh climb the o2 my vlog is uh on the channel if you want to go and check that out we climb the o2 <laughs> um i'm kind of doing a bucket list um sort of 30 things to do before i'm 30 or in my 30th year at least because i started actually physically writing a list and then I thought I've only got a few months to complete this and there are some big things on that list I don't think I'm gonna get it done <laughs> so I've kind of extended it to my 30th year uh, and one of them was to climb the O2 been to the O2 loads of times like seeing shows and, and stuff like that in there but never been actually on top of it <laughs> so now I can say I've done it all I've been on top of the O2 and I've been in the O2 <laughs> um, so yeah I went with Scott and my dad Pops came along um, I was really surprised it was me that suffered more than <laughs> than my dad he was like yeah that's fine you know it was easier than he thought it was gonna be and there's me the next day going oh my leg ow 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 <laughs> I feel sore um, yeah because it it was pretty steep going up it was a, a 28 degree incline I know I said 30, but it was 30 going down. And yeah, it, it wasn't easy. Um, and we did have lovely weather for it. So obviously we were sweating buckets as we were trying to climb as well. But we had a glass of champagne at the top. So that really helped. That kind of willed me to carry on. <laughs> I just decided with my bucket list, kind of do things that are either out of my comfort zone or just stuff I've never done before. Um, there are a few places that I want to want to visit that I've never never been to uh, like Dublin Amsterdam just to say I've done them really and also a cruise I definitely want to have a go at a cruise might try like a four-day cruise because again never been uh, my aunt and uncle they go on loads of cruises and they really enjoy them so uh, I think either go on a cruise or definitely have one booked um, love to do the Walker Stalker cruise but unfortunately it's their last one in February next year so I don't think I'll be able to do that me but who knows you never know <laughs> pretty much think that's everything that's gone on recently um again I'm really sorry about my uploading schedule but now I've learned 
I'm going to pre-record my videos. <laughs> uh, the updates will still probably be the same day. Friday, hopefully Fridays. <laughs> so I know I realise this is a Saturday, I'm sorry. But, you know, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> and uh, still carry on with my Walker Wednesday videos. Um, I just like looking back at the seasons and... I think it's more, as I said in my recent one, that it's pretty much more the character deaths now. Um, apart from if there are any good walkers, then of course I will mention them. But uh, yeah, it's more character deaths coming forward. So. so yeah, this was just a quick video just to update you guys on what's been going on. Let me know down in the comments what's been happening with you and what do you think of the trailer for Walking Dead? Are you excited? Roll on October, cannot wait. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there for now guys. If you did enjoy this video then please remember to give it a big thumbs up. That would really help me out a lot. And if you are liking these videos and you want to stick around then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to find out when I do more of these videos. And I'll see you Wednesday for sure this time, I promise, <laughs> with my Walker Wednesday video where I'll be talking about my favourite walkers slash walker kills. And pretty much character deaths now <laughs> of The Walking Dead Season 5. So I'm going to leave it there for now guys. And until next time, check you later.